Hi, Scottish Mud Larking with Nicole and Craig. Today we're in week four of five things that you can find at the beach. Four out of five things you can find at the beach are fossils and pebbles. So let's have a good look around among the pebbles and see if we can find some fossils. I'm looking for a crab claw. You waiting for a boat? Take me to the beach, please. The beach? Oh well, if you come with me, we'll get along the beach. One day. Now that is really nice. Look, it's really defined. It almost looks like it's a dragonfly, but I think they're little shell fragments. Really pretty. Did you just find something? Yay, food, two fossil rocks. Okay, two fossil. cool. Two fossil rocks. <laughs> yeah, look at them. Okay, yeah, we can see these. They're quite clear. The sun's glaring a little, so I'm not sure just how how clear it is down the camera. I'm trying to have an over the top look. Okay. But yeah, you can see the shapes of the uh, shells that are fossilized in these rocks. Yeah, I'll turn this one over because it looks totally different from oh, the wow, other side. Yeah. Lots of little things trapped in there. Lots of detail. Yeah. Awesome. I think this is another one of these uh, stones that Nicole just recently found. Oh yeah, it certainly is. Ah, that's a different colour. I just found this one here. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. Very nice. So we're finding plenty of these. Um, but we're not finding any crab claws just yet. No, let's have a look around then. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get further up the beach there, uh, where we know there's um, some really interesting rock features. And that's where I found a crab claw the last time. So let's mm -hmm. see if we get lucky. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you can hear that over these waves. Nicole just shouted, guess what I just found? So let's go see. Did you find a crab claw? No. Oh, no crab claws yet then. <laughs> what you got? Well, I'll just say it's down there and you have a look and see if you can spot it. Okie dokes. Now I think that's quite easy to spot. It's a really beautiful colour and it's just here. It's amazing in the sunlight, isn't it? It's so orange. It really is. It's a lovely piece. Take that. It's a really lovely bright coloured orange carnelian or agate. Oh, it looks stunning. It is, it's lovely, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's not glass. It's this wee thing here. Oh, it's actually, I think it's ceramic. I was about to bet that that was going to be plastic. But it's ceramic and I wonder if it might be a uh, milk glass. I'll take a wee closer look at that. What do you think then? You think that's, uh, I don't think it's milk glass, right? I think it's just a piece of ceramic. Yeah, I think that piece is definitely a bit of ceramic. And then you found a small piece of sea glass? Yeah, it's a tiny bit. Yeah, I found another pebbly shell fossil rock. And I think that might be pumice, lava. And this is just very cute. That might be a stone bead, but I think it might be a bit too big. What do you think? Yeah, it's quite big. It's a nice shape though, isn't it? Yeah.
looks like there's a bit of quartz there. Very nice. It's like a little egg, like a, a quartz egg. Oh, you probably can't hear me over the waves. Now that's very pretty. I'm not entirely sure what that is, other than saying it's an agate. So if you do know what it is, uh, maybe you can tell us. But it's very, very pretty. I've just got something else that's very, very pretty as well, and it's a pebble. And it's just those kind of concentric circle lines there. Really gorgeous, such a pretty wee thing. It's mesmerising. It is, isn't it? It's Look really cool. Side. Yeah, we just saw this really <laughs> nice wee piece of sea glass as well. And there's a bit of shale. Not sure if you can see that, but there's a big seal out there basking on the rocks. Stones are really cool things. They've been used for so many different things over the years, I and mean, we tend to think of them just as stones, either pretty pebbles or maybe even building materials. But stones have been used for so many things, and the people at Yap used stones as money. But they, I mean, they did modify the stones in a really special and, you know, magnificent way. Yeah, the Inuit piled stones in the form of people, so they are called Inuksuk. Yeah, we'll take a wee look at some of the varied and different uses that stones have been put to over the millennia. Yeah, very interesting. Although most, if not all of us, are surrounded by stone in one form or another for most of our lives, we seldom give it much thought. Maybe that's just me, but when I started to think about how humans have used stone, I was surprised at just how widely it has been used, and how important it has been to humans over the millennia. It's reckoned that stone has been providing humans with tools for around 2.4 million years. These tools were fundamental to the way that humans evolved to adapt to and live in their environments. Hammers, knives, axes, drills, fish hooks, bowls, arrows and spearheads equipped early humans with all they needed to hunt and prepare their food. But stones also provided a medium for human expression by providing the pigments that was used to create the cave art that's found in many parts of the world. Flint deserves special mention, not least because it allowed early humans to make fire, which they could use to defend their dwellings, cook their food and expand territorially into cold parts of the planet. Flint was so valuable to early humans that they dug deep into the earth to reach this important material. But stone was also used for far less obviously utilitarian uses. Smaller stones and stone structures can be just as significant as these massive henges. Cairns are carefully piled stones and they're found in many parts of the world, though the word cairn itself comes from the Gaelic language. They were very common markers of burial sites in Scotland's prehistoric times and one old Gaelic expression of care and blessing translates as I will place a stone upon your care. Cairns have other uses though. They have been used as landmarks to identify territorial boundaries, sites of importance and pilgrim routes amongst many other things. Where there are no roads, piles of stones mark the way, keeping travellers on safe and direct routes. Much like the shells we spoke about a few weeks ago, Stones were also used as a kind of money or a medium of exchange. The people of Yap and Micronesia once made spectacular stone money, but there are many other examples of much smaller stone coins. Stones have also long been used as a form of adornment, and it often served more than an aesthetic purpose. Today, we continue to rely on stone for very many things. It provides our dwellings, the roads we travel on, and a medium to sculpt and create or just decorate our gardens. Semi-precious stones are worn for both aesthetic and perhaps ritual or spiritual reasons. And it remains very common to mark modern burial sites with enduring monuments that are made of stone. Much as we did when we recently looked at seashells, we've hardly scratched the surface of this incredibly interesting topic. I am looking.
looking for little tiny round shaped pebbles, five of them. I found these. Okay, that one looks like it's got stripes in it. This one's got a line going around it. That one's quite a good candidate for a round piece. Yeah. Okay, let's keep looking. Do you know, I think I might have just spotted what I've been looking for. I just looked up and now this shape is a little bit too, too regular or too, yeah, just a little bit too regular. Oh, it's not though. It's got an odd sound, this stone though. I wonder if that's glass. Not quite sure what that is. I thought with the shape of it at first that I'd seen uh, I'd seen one of these wee crab claws that I've been looking for, but no, it's not that. I think Nicole's uh, found some metal. You can hear. <laughs> I'm gonna go over and see what Nicole's found. I can hear some metal clanking around. while since we've actually been along to this part of the coast but I just remember it very differently I don't think too much has changed but it just kind of feels like everything's different here it's an odd sensation now the cliffs here are pretty awesome but they're also scary <laughs> every time I come near this uh this part of the coast. Uh, I'm reminded of the fact that this uh, this entire cliff face is in a state of collapse but it's also apparently filled with fossils. So we're going to take a wee bit of a look at it and see if we can find uh, any signs of fossils. But I'm really intrigued by the shape on this rock. What it reminds me of, and given that this is sandstone, is um, the marks that are left by, by the sea after the tide goes out. So if you think of the little ripples that you get in the sand after the tide's gone out, it looks just like that. And the interesting thing about this is that we can see that there's a section here where the the stone's been chipped and so the surface layer that we can see here is missing from that area there but where the surface area is and where it maintains we have the same ripple effect that makes a very cool pattern Let's go see if Nicole's found anything cool. So no sign of a crab claw for me yet, just that weird pointy wee stone. How about you? Are you finding what you're after? No, it's quite difficult to find the perfect little tiny round pebble. Okay. But I have found something. Um, it's quite cool looking. I think it's like terrazzo or a, a man-made material, but it's a really cool pebble. <laughs> but yeah, that's bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so fossils galore here. Absolutely tons of shells fossilised inside this stone. Oh wow, even more on the other side. That's incredible. That's really cool. We can see, I think, that these have been sedimented as well. There's a kind of line here where we can see one type of rock, a different type of rock, and all this shell material in there. That's fantastic. Oh, that looks like under the sea if you turn it on the side, right? Show me what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> if you turn it like this, it looks like waves here, like a really rough sea and then there's the sky above it. Yeah, it's a very cool piece, however you look at it. 
But yeah. I see what you mean, yeah, turbulent yeah. seas. Imagine cutting that into slices. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's these as well. I'm not sure what that is, if that's quartz or uh, if that's a fossil of some kind as well. Mm, yeah. If anybody who knows anything about fossils recognises that and they can maybe tell us what it is, we'd be much, much, much appreciative. <laughs> Yeah. Nicole's just found something else there. Let's bit see what that is. I think it's a bit of flint. Big bit of flint, yeah. Now I just found something off to the side and it's definitely uh, nowhere near as old as either of these. Uh -huh. And at first, when I saw this, I thought it was maybe just a stone. And you'll maybe see why. If I put it down like that, it just looks like a stone. Mm -hmm. But then when we look at it closer, we see a perfect, a perfect hole in there. Oh and we can see <laughs> it's very very kind of precision shaped on this oh. side another wee corner in there now i'm not quite sure what that would have been i think it's plaster i don't know i don't know i have a funny feeling that it's probably another electrical insulator of some description all right i'm not sure Possibly. but yeah there's loads of flint around here as well i just found another really kind of really nice piece of flint there we could nap ourselves some arrowheads. <laughs> Keep going then. <laughs> Still no sign of that crab claw. But I have seen this and I wonder, is that a beat? It's maybe a little bit large for a bead. It's probably just a wee bit of stone, but it's so beautifully rounded. Now we can see that clearly. I'm going to pick that up, take it over to Nicole. Oh, it's a bead! I found a bead! <laughs> I found a beautiful, beautiful, it might be milk glass. It could just be a ceramic <gasps> bead, but it's a beautiful white bead. Oh! lovely wee thing now it's not a crab claw so i'm not very happy about it uh, but nonetheless i suppose oh. it would be a shame to leave it here wouldn't it no yeah that's exactly what i was hoping to make <laughs> all right okay a stone bead so yeah. well nicole's gonna make stone beads whilst i uh, mean well i'll see what i can do to find them oh. let's have a closer look at that well i wasn't happy that i hadn't found the crab claw i was looking for uh, but yeah, when I looked down in that wee space there and I saw that perfectly round white Ooh. object, I thought, I honestly thought it was just a wee stone. Now, what do you think that is? Do you think that's glass, ceramic or...? It kind of does actually feel like it's stone and it's really worn. It's not perfectly round anymore. It's more kind of oblong shape. Yeah, I I'm just going to move around uh -huh. Nicole a bit because I can barely hear her. Oh, okay. So my, <laughs> my thought is that uh, if I can't hear Nicole and I'm standing right in front of her, uh, then you're probably not hearing her either. So, yeah, you were saying, do you think it's uh, glass or ceramic? I think it might actually be a stone bead. <laughs> and it's not lo no longer round anymore. It's really worn. It's kind of almost oblong shaped. So, I don't know. It could be really, really old. Okay, well, yeah, if that's really, really old, but we'll have a yeah. close look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah, if anybody, well, we'll have a look in that bead book that we've got at home, mm. but if anybody else thinks they can identify this uh, this bead, it's just pure white, Yeah. really nicely rounded. It's got a tiny hole in it. Yeah, it's the size of that hole that makes me think it's probably not as old ah. as you think it may be. Mm. Okay, yeah. Because of the precision of that. Now, I'm not saying that really, really old things aren't precise, <laughs> um, because they can be, but yeah, that just looks like a very tiny wee hole. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's take a closer look at it. Yeah. that crab claw after all look oh. look it's a crab claw that's so cool you, you sure it's a crab claw yeah uh, yeah that's the look it's crab claw it's all crab claw shaped and stuff okay C can i can i take a closer look at it not really <laughs> okay <laughs> 
Okay, you can have a close look at it. See? Definitely that's, a crab claw, isn't it? That's a shell. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, it's rubbish. That's not a crab claw. It's a yeah, mussel yeah. shell. Taking Let's get rid way. of that. Yeah. Okay, so here are a few of the things that we found. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's have a closer look at them. So, as always, a little bit of beach plastic. That's a toothbrush head. That's funny. That's funny. That's going to be a centerpiece. Maybe it'll be a hedgehog in a plastic picture. There you go. <laughs> There's a use for everything. Mm-hmm. So, we found a couple of pieces of sea glass. We found some flint. I think that might be pumice. Okay. This looks like it's terrazzo or some sort of other composite human-made material. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you know better. Then I found these longish rocks and I think they look really nice. So I might take those and see if they drill because I think they would make a really nice long pendant. They're very cool, aren't they? They're really nice shapes. Yeah. Um, and then we found yellow rocks that might be quartz like this one. But I'm honestly not sure. So we've taken so long to do this that we're now in the shade. We started <laughs> off, the sun was shining on this area. And we thought this is the perfect spot to do a roundup. And uh, yeah, yeah, as, as per usual, we've kind of dragged our heels along here. <laughs> so yeah, these yellow stones that aren't as bright as they were when the sun was shining on them, but yeah. they're still very pretty. Yeah, yeah. And we did find a canalian, which I haven't put up here, but we did find it. And then we have these lovely, really swirly, mesmerizing rocks that I really like. I really like these as well. You can see you know where there's been a build-up of different layers of material in there yeah so they're kind of like a, a geologist's wee dream a little microcosm of uh, all the layers and the rocks on the planet i think they're fantastic things yeah aren't they and i found a couple of possible candidates for a bead all right um not as good as that bead i found the way Oh, that, that, that the nice wee bead here, the nice <laughs> yeah. wee bead here. Okay, you absolutely get in find of the day. I am absolutely happy, amazed, and that you didn't they even see it. Yeah, yeah, I don't see beads. It's <laughs> not my thing. I look for blue. I look for colours rather than shapes. Nicole looks for shapes. Yeah. But I was just looking down for a wee crab claw because I really wanted to find a wee crab claw today. Oh. I'd set my heart on it. <laughs> bubble, bubble. <laughs> anyway. I think that makes up for it more than enough. That's really stunning. That's, Very cool. Yeah. Find it ready. Yeah, and then we have that massive rock. That is so packed full of materials, it's hard to, to know where to begin. It's really gorgeous, actually. I think if these things were all smoothed off, it would just make such a beautiful tile. Uh -huh. But, you know, I mean, I think these are very common. Um, we're going to leave that here because we've nothing that we can do with it anyway. Yeah. So there would be no point in us taking that. Um, but we'll leave it on top of this this altar stone. It looks like an altar stone of some description. Now, if anybody's wondering why I referred to that stone as an altar, but this is amazing. It's really, really lovely. Yeah. And it has those layers. Yeah, we aren't going to take everything that is here. We're just going to take the plastic and a couple of these pebbles and, of course, the bead and the sea glass. Yeah, definitely not going to leave that bead behind. Nope. Now, there's another item in here that I'm, I think deserves special mention. Oh. Uh, although we're not entirely sure yet. Can I find it? No, I can't. Oh, do you know what? I think it's in my pocket. Oh. <laughs> Just a second. Wobbly camera here, folks. Make a wee bit of space where those two long stones are, please. And I'll just drop down these things. Uh -huh. Okay, so the first is another one of these stones that just has really nice... Really nice markings. And I'm not sure if that is also a fossilised shell. Mm. It looks very similar. We'll just swing back over to here. Ah, and yeah. we can see that it looks very, very, very similar oh, yeah, it does. to these stones. So I reckon that this is a... Uh, well, a if one. you excuse the pun, it's a chip off the old block. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. As such. Now, I, ho I hope you're familiar with what a chip off the old block means. Mm -hmm. Basically, what people would use to describe a child that was very much like a parent. So, yeah, that, to me, I think is a mini version of that. And I think we can take that wee one with us. Yeah. It's a very mm -hmm. pretty wee stone. Okay, happy with the finds? Yeah, very happy. I am so happy with that bead. Yeah, it's hard not to be happy when you find a bead, right? Yeah, so unexpected. Okay, let's get back along to the car. Yeah. Fantastic. 
Thanks so much for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know the drill, hit the subscribe button and please subscribe to the channel. Also hit the bell if you want notifications for the Sunday videos. So if you've been missing our Sunday videos, click that bell and you'll get a notification when they're up. Massive thanks too to everyone who's helped support the channel through Kofi, through Etsy and through Amazon. If you want to help support the channel, please do consider popping over to Kofi and buying us a wee coffee.